Hey everyone, welcome to another AP Stats video. Today I'm going to be talking about combinations. Why is there a talk about on the front screen? Because it'll be relevant in a second, just hang on. Anyways, so, you're probably wondering what a combination is, and what it is is a way, it is a way of counting. It's a way we figure out the number of ordered sets or groups or lists we can make when we are taking a certain number of elements or items from a larger group of elements or items. You're going to use this technique whenever you see a question that asks you how many ways can you arrange something, how many possible ways can you combine something, how many lists or how many lists, groups, or ordered sets can you make. Now there are really are two techniques, right? There's what's called a permutation or a combination. And each one of these has a, a, a permutation has a specific formula and a combination also has a specific formula. There are two math there are two formulas that can be used to determine the number of groups or sets or uh, lists you can make depending on whether or not the order in which you select items from the larger group matters. It's a big difference. For a permutation, the order in which you select items matters. But for a combination, which is what we're going to be talking about in today's video, the order which you select items from the larger group doesn't matter. And I know that's confusing, so I'm going to give you an example here. Or I'll explain some more, but basically, before I go to the example, I want you to know that when we say, when your teachers say, or when I say order doesn't matter, that simply means that the order, that the order in which you select items from the larger group doesn't matter. And I, I know that can be confusing, so I'm going to try and put an example. But before I do, this is the formula for a, what, uh, sorry, this is a formula for a combination. And... The n is the number of elements you may you can ch choose from, and r is the number of elements you need. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense right now, so let's go to an example. At Pete's Taco Bar, there are six toppings available. How many ways can you create a three-topping taco? So basically, this question is asking you how many different three-topping how many different three-topping tacos can you make? There are six toppings available, and if you're required to choose only three. How many different three-topping tacos can you make? And so this question is basically asking us how many different groups of toppings can we make? Remember how I said how many different ways can you arrange, how many groups you can make? That's the that's your trigger to figure out if you to say determine if you need a permutation or a combination. And the reason this is a combination is because a taco filled with cheese, lettuce, or tomatoes is the same as a taco filled with lettuce, then tomatoes, then cheese. The order in which you select toppings from the taco bar does not make a difference to the final taco, right? A taco filled with first with cheese, then lettuce, then tomatoes is the same to the person eating the taco as a taco filled with lettuce, then tomatoes, and cheese. The order at which we're taking toppings out of the top toppings out of the topping bar, putting it in our taco, does not make a difference. So each so each taco with cheese, lettuce, and tomatoes is the same no matter how or what order we put in those ingredients. The order at which the toppings are selected does not matter to the toppings themselves or the person eating the taco, hence why we say order doesn't matter. And because the order in which we are selecting toppings does not matter, we're going to use the combination formula. Here's just a visual representation of the situation. Six toppings. You can only choose three. How many unique three topping tacos can you make? How many groups of three toppings can you make? And so because order doesn't matter, we're going to use a combination formula, which is n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. And if you don't know what a factorial is, basically, it's when you take a number and you multiply it by all the numbers that come before it. So if I were to say 3 factorial, which in this case would be 3 exclamation point, it'd just be 3 times 2 times 1. And for example, 6 factorial would be 6 times 5, would be 6 times all the numbers that come before it. So 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Visual representation helps. I'll give that to you in a second. But basically, remember, n is the number of elements you may choose from. This taco bar has six top six possible toppings, right? So we have six possible toppings to choose from, and r is the elements number of elements you have to select, which is 3. You can only choose three toppings because that's what's required of us in the problem. So out of a six toppings, how many three topping groups can you make? So r, the number of elements we have to choose, is 3. And so if we plug in our numbers, we get this is what we get, 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 6 minus 3 factorial, which simplifies to 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 3 factorial, which if you write out, this is the visual representation of a factorial, we take the number, multiply it by all the numbers that come before it, 
and we get 20. There are 20 possible free topping tacos you can make at the taco bar, at Pete's Taco Bar to be specific. Remember, when we, when, we use this when we use the combination formula, we're saying that the order in which we're selecting elements doesn't matter. And so because that order doesn't matter, we simply have to use the combination formula to figure out the number of groups we can make. This concludes the AP, this AP Stats video. I'm sure pretty soon, or if you look in those suggested video lists or on the Elementors page, you can, fi you can find a video that talks about permutations, which are a very similar but similar way of counting counting combinations, but with one significant difference, and that is the order does matter, and you're going to see how that makes a difference in that video.